Bella Baxter is the most innocent, naive, beautiful character you can imagine. She reminds us of children. The art of Yorgos Lanthimos is that he creates this lovely character and then brings her into the circles of corruption, ugliness and deception of the world. Mostly the funny scenes are made of the contradiction between Bella's simplicity and the world's redundant, ridiculous complexity. Bella learns, looks and understands. She is surprised by the cruelty, hate and madness the human world includes. Poor things is a criticism of our world shot in the most amusing way with the most peculiar story. There is a surgeon played by Willem Dafoe named Godwin Baxter. He's called God. It's an abbreviation of his name, but ironically refers to his strange project in which he combines various creatures to create something new. He does what God does. He creates. He is the God of the story who has created Bella, guides her and prevents her from leaving his house. He lives alone, knows a lot and like God claims, what he wants is the best for his creatures. He found an almost dead body in the river, a pregnant woman whose child was alive. He opened her belly, removed the infant and extracted its brain and then put that in the mother's head. He reanimated the woman with an infant's brain. Dr. Godwin Baxter created Bella a full brown body and a newborn baby's brain. The idea itself is profound, attractive and inventive. Bella is protected, actually imprisoned by the doctor in his mansion, which is intimidating in its size. But Bella is a human and she is curious. She insists on going out and beginning an adventure throughout the world. At first the doctor opposes. Finally, Bella goes out to visit new places and meet new people. Outside, sex, dance and booze are her amusements. She is discovering joy, fun and pleasure. She wonders, why do people not just have sex all the time? She is frailed by the possibilities of the world grants her. However, she soon comes to realize that the world is not all sunshine and roses. She meets a stranger in the ship who is called a cynic. He shows her the dying miserable people under the ship. The children are starving to death. Tears roll down Bella's cheeks. She decides to give that dying people money, but is deceived by two crooked sailors. Now Bella and her companion Duncan are out of money. Captain throws them out of the ship in a port in France. Look how Yorgos Lanthimos weaves the strands to portray the viciousness of the human world. The poor things aren't only those poor people we saw with Bella. Lamenting underneath, I believe Yorgos Lanthimos intends to explain to us that we are all poor things. Bella is poor in both her past life and current life. Dr. Godwin has had a terrible childhood. Bella's journey sincerely informs us our happy moments cannot last long. Suffering is waiting for us and poverty is considered a constant threat. However, Yorgos Lanthimos doesn't end the movie in cynicism. The final scene in which Bella destroys her ex-husband serves as a moment of redemption or expected relief. The casting is well chosen, the acting is magnificent, and my son who won the Oscar for this role has made this character Bella into a woman whom we love and whom we have sympathy with. We understand Bella and her amazement at the modern world's lunacy, hatred and cruelty are the amazements we all experience at times. We all see inequality, poverty and prostitution and we all agree these are unfair and should be removed, but no one does anything special. This is simply the way it is. This movie is an irony of modernity. The picture is excellent, the story is engaging and we are delighted to watch what Yorgos Lanthimos is exploring. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel, like my video and comment and I'm curious what you think about my reviews.